Hello everyone, welcome to this course on From Zero to Hero in Trigonometry. So let us do some more problems. Uh, these questions have come, uh, appeared in uh, JE mean in the previous years. So the question says, let f of fk of x is equal to 1 by k, sine raise to kx plus cos raise to kx. Then f of 4, f4 of x minus f6 of x is equal. So let's see how this can be done f4 of x is going to be sine power 4x plus cos power 4x whole divided by 4. And we know sine power 4x plus cos power 4x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x cos squared x. The second thing is f6 of x. So this is going to be sine power 6x plus cos power 6x whole divided by 6. And this is 1 minus 3 sine squared x cos squared x whole divided by 6. Now what we are asked to find is f4 of x minus f6 of x. So we have 1 minus 2 sine squared x cos squared x whole divided by 4 minus 1 minus 3 sine squared x cos squared x divided by 6. So what really happens is we have 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 because the other term is half sine squared x cos squared x on both terms they will get cancelled. Okay. So you are left with 2 over 24 which is 1 by 12. So 1 by 12 is the answer. So it is very crucial that you remember this formula. I mean you know this formula sine power 4x plus cos power 4x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x cos squared x and sine power 6x plus cos power 6x is 1 minus 3 sine squared x cos squared x. Alright. Anyway, during an exam there is an easier way to do this. When you look at this question, you understand that the answer is independent of x. So irrespective of the value of x, your answer is going to be a number. So what you will do is you you're going to put x is equal to 0 and get the answer. Of course, fk of x is not independent of x it's in definitely a function of x but f4 of x minus f6 of x is a constant okay this is going to be a constant because you know this is um, the i uh, the this is indicated by the options because the options are all constants so to get that constant you're going to find f4 of 0 minus f6 of 0 and f4 of 0 is going to be 1 by 4 and this is going to be 1 by 6 and this is 1 by 24. 1 by, sorry, 2 by 24 which is 1 by 12. So it is much easier if you do it this way. Let's see the next question. The expression tan a divided by 1 minus cot a plus cot a divided by 1 minus tan a can be written as. So it's a very uh, simple uh, um, so, uh, simplification problem. Even though it is tempting to substitute for some value of uh, a and then verify the option. But you don't have to really do that. And moreover, you can't like substitute a is equal to 0. You can't put a is equal to pi by 2. You can't put a equal to pi by 4. All of this will lead to trouble here. Because you know, at a equal to 0, cot a is not defined. Okay. When a equal to pi by 2, tan a is not defined. When a equal to pi by 4, 1 minus cot a and 1 minus tan a become 0. So, all the good numbers that you can think of will lead to trouble. So, do not bother about uh, substituting some value of a and getting the answer. Instead, let's actually simplify this. It's not a big deal. So, I don't like tan and cot. So, I'm going to convert these into sine and cos. We have sin a over cos a divided by 1 minus cos a over sin a. Plus, this is cos a by sin a by 1 minus sin a by cos a. Alright. So, this is going to be sin a sin square a divided by cos a into sin a minus cos a plus cos square a divided by sin a into cos a minus sin a. So we have 1 by sin a minus cos a as the common factor, sin square a divided by cos a 
and this is going to be minus cos square a by sin a. So this will be 1 by sin a minus cos a into sin cube a minus cos cube a divided by sin a into cos a. And the numerator can be factorized as sin a minus cos a into sin square a plus cos square a plus sin a into cos a divided by sin a minus cos a into sin a times cos a. So this two will get cancelled and this becomes 1. So we have 1 plus sin a cos a divided by sin a cos a. Now distribute the denominator to two terms in the numerator. This becomes uh, cosec a sec a plus 1. Yes, so this is our answer. So next question is. If 0 less than x less than pi and cos x plus sin x is equal to half, then tan x is. So we are asked to find the value of tan x when cos x plus sin x is equal to half. Of course, there are easier methods if you know trigonometric functions of multiple angles and uh, advanced identities from trigonometry. Anyway, we will come that soon. Uh, we will come to that very soon. But for the time being, with the limited knowledge that you have, uh, till now we have only um studied the trigonometric uh, ratios of acute angles so with that knowledge how uh, let's see how this can be done so we have cos x plus sin x is equal to half now i'm going to rewrite the entire expression in terms of tan x so cos x is 1 by sec x so it is 1 by so if i call tan x as t your cos x is going to be 1 by root over 1 plus t square. Why? Because, because if tan x is t, root over 1 plus t square is equal to sec x. And 1 by root over 1 plus t square is going to be cos x. And your sin x will be t by root over 1 plus t square. Why? Because tan x divided by sec x will be sin x. Okay, so this is equal to 1 by 2. Now, you simplify this expression, we have 2 times 1 plus t is equal to root over 1 plus t square. Square the both sides, square both sides. So, we have 4 into 1 plus t square plus 2t is equal to 1 plus t square. So, we have 3t square uh, plus 8t plus uh, 3 is equal to 0 and t will be obtained as use quadratic formula minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is minus 8 plus or minus root 28 is 2 root 7 by 6. So this is minus 4 plus root 7 by 6 or minus 4 minus root 7 by 6. Of course minus so this is the answer. Uh, that is matching with the options. I mean, what we got and what is there in the option, right? Let's see the next question. For any theta belonging to pi by 4 to pi by 2, the expression 3 times sin theta minus cos theta whole power 4 plus 6 times sin theta plus cos theta whole squared plus 4 sin raised to 6 theta equals. So, this is S is equal to 3 times sin theta minus cos theta whole power 4 plus 6 times sin theta plus cos theta the whole square plus 4 times sin raised to 6 theta. Now when you look at the options, you, it immediately strikes you. There is a 4 cos square uh, cos power 6 theta here. So let's, what I will try to do is I am going to add a 4 cos power 6 theta to the expression. Why? Because you can make, so let's see what happens now. What happens is, this becomes 4 times sin raised to 6 theta plus cos raised to 6 theta. Okay, because we are 
we already know the expression the symbol uh, simplification for this so this is going to be 3 times uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta the whole square plus 6 times sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus the next term is as we know 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta. So this becomes 3 into 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta the whole square plus 6 times 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus 4 times 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta. Now interestingly this becomes 3 times 1 minus 4 sin theta cos theta plus 4 sin square theta cos square theta plus 6 plus 12 sin theta cos theta plus 4 minus 12 sin square theta cos square theta. What happens is this 12 sin theta cos theta gets cancelled. This 12 sin square theta cos square theta gets cancelled. What is remaining is 3 plus 6 plus 4 which is 13. Okay, so we have s plus 4 cos power 6 theta is 13. So your s is 13 minus 4 cos power 6 theta. It's an interesting question. So this happens to be our answer.